Hello, everyone, and welcome to House Music. Really excited to be here chatting with composer Tyson Davis about his tableau number three for solo flute. Hi, Tyson. Can you tell me just a little bit more about tableau three and about the whole tableau series? I just finished the ninth one, and I'm going to start the tenth one in a couple weeks. I've been thinking a lot about focusing on writing for the solo voice, like the solo voice uh, as a whole, and having one specific voice molding and creating like this sort of tailored suit for each individual instrument that I've been asked to write for or wanted to write for. With the flute specifically, I know that you've written a lot of larger ensemble pieces. Um, have you written any solo pieces for the flute before this or is this the first foray? I mean, I wrote a piece for alto flute in, in like late 10th grade. Um, but other than that, not really, no. Um, it seems like there's so many young composers, like, and I had this mindset too, that just want to write big, big, big things all the time, um, you know? And zooming in on that microscopic level is just so, it's so beautiful in itself. It seems like you're really getting into the, the nitty gritty details of how to write music in general. Um, and then you can slowly start to adapt that for chamber ensembles and orchestral settings. Mm -hmm. You started this Tableau series before quarantine and coronavirus, is that correct? It was about in August of last year, so almost a year now. You're still writing them, like how have they changed? You know, it's, it's, it's just so ironic that, they were, they, that I haven't been writing solo instrument pieces, you know, right before this. All <laughs> so ironic, but so, so beautifully coincidental because now they can all get played. How many tableaus do you think you'll end up with? Do you I genuinely do not know. I am excited to figure it out. In general, I guess, it seems like, you know, my music and my philosophy as an artist um, wants to reflect, you know, human experience and human emotions. Um, it seems like I'm very concentrated on reflecting, you know, the ideas of of people and, and what, what it really means to be it functioning in, a, in, in the world that we are.